one. That's either a big glass of milk or a giant glass of eggnog. That is some milk. It is a milky one, but it's not as milky as it looks on the camera. Giggadoo? Is that tea? It is, but it's not as white as it looks there. Okay. Even. I was about to say, if that's if that's tea, that's a very milky tea. It is milky, but like it's not as bad as it looks there. Because okay. <laughs> I looked at it and I was just like, nobody's going to think I'm drinking tea here. Not at all. From the jug. I don't know if it's the... Is that better? No. You see it's tea coloured? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too much light on it. Yeah. My, my, uh, my manager made me a cup of... No, who made me a cup of... My... My manager made me a cup of tea the other day. He was like, is it, is it good? And I looked at it and was like, I'm just going to say yes and drink it. But I was looking at it going, oh my God, what has happened to this poor cup of tea? It was like milky to the, it was, I think it was more milk than tea. I do like a milky cup of tea. No. But... Hello, I'm Valis Valmir. I am a tiefling cleric and I can now heal more people at once. Ooh. Apparently only I care about that then. Fuck the rest of you. Great, Valkus, just, just heal me. Ooh. Ooh. Every week, I, I say Valis. Every week, you call me Valkus. <laughs> I'm still gonna call- I'm Devon, I'm thick as shit, and I'm trying to read a name with a silent L. It's your fault- no, silent, silent C. Silent L? <laughs> he yes, just said he's thick as shit. Hey, Valis, what do I you wish you were a silent C. What? That, that was Devon's <laughs> introduction. I'm Devon, I'm thick as shit. There we go, that's Devon done. <laughs> Devon, uh, I'm on a long, long quest to find my rock. Um, I've teamed up with these guys. They're going to help me find my rock. Apparently, we're doing other stuff as well. But it's mostly about finding Dwayne. I hate it. Up next, uh, we'll go with Will. Uh, what, what, what are we doing You're exactly? A <laughs> I'm a sorcerer. <laughs> my name is Will. Uh, my name, my name is Zibby. I'm a <laughs> dragonborn sorcerer. We do it every week at the beginning. He is somehow... I'm sorry, I'm looking at my spells. Unfortunately, our sorcerer is somehow dumber than our barbarian, who's been hit in the head several thousand times. Yeah, I've, been, I've been hit a lot, <laughs> too. Sif, you're next. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sif. I am a warlock, and I can now heal myself by wearing my familiars. And Dayden. Hello, my name is Dayden. I'm a high elf rogue, and I usually get us all into a lot of trouble by saying things at the worst possible times. So he's not a ranger then? Hey, no. HR's worst nightmare. I'm HR's worst nightmare. Glenda! <laughs> I'm the dungeon master, and I'm also HR, and I hate Dayden. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you too. I'm, su I'm surprised it stopped at Dayden, to be honest. Yeah. I know, I know where you live, Jake, and I'm believing a flaming bag of poop on your doorstep. Awesome. Pretend. I, don't, I don't have a dog, so I need to source my poop elsewhere. Right, you got, Pretend, you... Dwayne, or, <laughs> <laughs> or you <laughs> get pooped. Put a rock through your window, but then ask for it back. <laughs> okay. When we last left <clears throat> off, you all decided to take a long rest Yay. in a new territory. Boom. With a prisoner. Now, I don't believe anyone said they were checking his ropes before you all went to sleep. We're taking it in turns. Yeah, we're watching. Yeah. You're watching him or you're watching the door? I just went to sleep. I was both. Like, Probably a bit both, fun. really, isn't it? Didn't we tie him up to the door? Yeah, we did. Actually, we tied him to the door. <laughs> to yeah. the door, yeah, so we're watching both. <laughs> 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 well, luckily it was an uneventful night. No one, just, no one tried to get in through the door. And Captain Hawk decided just to sleep. He wasn't in a rush to go anywhere. So, you awake at what you feel like is the next day, having all got a good enough sleep to make it through the night. And you all feel somewhat stronger. What would you like to do? I would like you to put the volume down a teeny bit on the music. Mm. Mm. I'd also like to know why there's such ominous music playing. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're asleep in enemy territory. 
And I haven't got a clue what you're talking about because I don't hear the music. Pardon? Oh. What? I don't hear music. Uh, it's, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's called Tunnel Atmosphere 32. Oh. Oh, cool. It kind of sounds a little bit Catherine y. Yes. Mm. Oh. I need to play it anyway. Okay. What would you like to do? We were going, we were going to explore that, um, that other section of the uh, the hidden passageway, weren't we, last time? I think before that, we should finish investigating this main cavern and the bits above us, which I didn't realize we hadn't done. I yeah, well, I mean, weird. we're in the room with the uh, pool at the minute, aren't we? No, no, no we weren't in the bedroom. Oh, right. Hold on, someone so. is requesting that I do this. Nope, I am not giving you access. Okay, you are all currently here. That is a nice grey instead of black. Where would you like to go? To the north. Um, to the north. Mm. To the north. I think we could ask um, our prisoner where we should go. I think we should look up here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, actually. I'll give Taking a fuck where we go. <laughs> Up north, then. Where can I find treasures? Treasures? Well, there's an armory. Where is uh, the armory? Well, the armory... Where is, is it? It's in the other section where the uh, the pool was. You, lead me to the armory. No, yeah, you want... this first. <laughs> There's also Mr. Glassstaff's room. There might be something in there, but no one was allowed to go in. You, lead me to Glassstaff's room. Yeah, I will do. God. Right. Quicker, I kick him in the bum. <laughs> uh, as you kick him, he hits into the door in front of you. And, uh... Ah! Fucking stupid twat. Right. Be quiet. He, uh, we agree. We agree. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. He opens the door and you enter into this little common area. There are several worn tables and chairs scattered around this large room. Wooden benches are drawn up against walls, decorated with drapiers of brown and red. And several ale kegs are propped up and tapped. Ooh. On the table, there are discarded playing cards and a stack of coins and trinkets. I look at the trinkets. Ooh, ooh, shiny. Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I would like to look at the trinkets. Ooh, shiny. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> They're shiny. <laughs> it's almost like he's trinkets. waiting for the for the thief to grab them. I'd like to look, have at, the a look at the trinkets. Oh, they're, they're very shiny trinkets. They're just trinkets. They're like there's a there's a pocket watch. There's I, a I would like to take box. a closer look at the trinkets. <laughs> okay, roll me a d20. Uh, and despite the fact that I cannot tell time on a, a analog watch, I want the pocket watch to make me look smart, as opposed that to is... a digital one in this world. Yes, I also can't that's... tell time on a um that's a, a five on a sundial. <laughs> Yeah, and that's, I like you know what I five. meant by kind of just doing a sun. Zibby, as you as you look closer at these trinkets, you realize or you believe that there is something magical coming from the tinderbox. Ooh, I think this might be a magical tinderbox. I'll uh, check out the tinderbox. See what's in there. Like I do the perception check type thing. If I, I want, I want to magic. swipe the tinderbox right. <laughs> Wipe right on the box. Okay. I'll, I'll keep an eye on Captain Hawk. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, Sif, roll perception. <laughs> Captain Hawk, by the way, is now just pouring himself an ale from one of the tapped kegs. Right, I rolled a 14. Um, I do the same. <laughs> oh, do you pour one out for me? No. <laughs> You're interested in this tinderbox. Three. I'm also interested in the ale. 17. You can't discern anything from the tinderbox. It to you, it just looks like a normal tinderbox. I think it's just a normal tinderbox. Looks fine to me. Oh, okay. Can I take a look at the rest of the trinkets to see which ones I'm going to pocket? Yep. Roll me a um, an investigation check on the table. Ooh. Oh, oh god. 
don't want to do that through my own page. Uh, let's see. Oop. I got uh, eight. Cool. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> you also think there might be something magical about the tinderbox. Oh, can we take a look at the tinderbox? Uh, do you wish to open the tinderbox? I asked Captain Hawk about the tinderbox because they seem to be very interested. <laughs> at this oh, point, we're shiny. all just gathered around the tinderbox, right. just staring at it. Like, and we're just there having a drink in the background. So you, you, you slide up next to Captain Hawk, and he's like stood over here watching these guys fuck about on the table. Uh, what do you say to him? Well, with, with ale in hand, a, they seem to be quite interested in that tinderbox. Know anything about it? It's used to light fires. Well, yeah, but they're obviously seeing they think there's something magical about it. Are they right, or are they just being moronic? Well, I mean, how, how good are their eyes? Well, it depends. If, if, they, rolled, if they rolled a... If, if, if their if eyes are good... Shut up. If their eyes are good, then, you know, they're just going to see it as what it is. It's a normal tinderbox. If they're stupid, they'll probably think it's magic or something, because, ooh, shiny tinderbox made of gold in a du bloody dungeon. Ooh, shiny yeah. tinderbox made of gold <laughs> in a dungeon. <laughs> But don't tell them I said that. They they tire me sometimes. Yeah, they seem they seem tiresome. <laughs> okay, guys. I offer him a bit of rum doing? as well. He looks at we... it dubiously, but like he pour, he holds. I out take his, a sip uh, of it myself as well. He holds out his like stein that he was drinking from, so you can fill it up. Can yep. we can we take the tinderbox because it might be magical? And it's made oh. of gold, and it's in a dungeon, so you know it's got to be good. So, Data, would you like to pick up the tinderbox? Yes. You sure you want to pick it up? Yes. Okay. I'm not so sure now. <laughs> not, as you are unaware of the magic <laughs> surrounding it, ominously. You're unaware of the magic surrounding it, so you gingerly pick up this tinderbox, and it feels like there's a weight inside, almost like some dry branches and. Uh, stuff used to make a fire but you can't be too sure because of the magical properties you believe this has I think there's something magical inside this yeah just open it go for it okay I, I I carefully uh, you know push said tinderbox open would you like to check for traps before you open it ah <laughs> <laughs> uh... No, I don't think I'm. I'm well protected as I'm pushing my finger in. Should be okay. <laughs> your finger, like, you're not even using a dagger to like slightly open it. You're gonna use your just jam your finger in. Yep, where I go. All right, <laughs> YouTube. This one seems like it's gonna be a long one. As, as you as you wedge your mm. your thin elven finger into the uh, the side of this box to flick up it's the lid. Like, it's got some girth to my finger, all right. <laughs> you were uh, inside. <laughs> What will we investigation check for what you see inside? Okay. Uh, I got uh, 14. I'm going to go over your original investigation check because that one seems good and I got something funny lined up. You see something thin and spindly that you assume is a spider's leg. Could be a magic spider. Given what you know about the spiders. Oh, guys, guess what? I think there's a magical spider in this tinderbox. This is bloody Ooh. finger. <laughs> it also looks like it's made of gold because it's in a dungeon. Ooh, shiny tinderbox with a magic spider in, found in a dungeon. <laughs> I raise an eyebrow towards yeah. Captain oh. Hawk. Can I keep pushing my finger in? As you keep slowly pushing your finger in, Captain Hawk notices the look from Valis, and he walks over to you guys, and he goes, <clears throat> Would you like to know the secrets of the tinderbox? <laughs> yes. Yes. Tell us its secrets. I, uh, I he, he, get a drink from Valis. I'm just like, can I have some rum, please? He holds out his hand for the tinderbox. Oh, sorry. I, I, I you know... Hold up my special magical tinderbox to him. Okay, he, he takes it and he, he lowers it down back to the table and he goes, right, come in close, come in close. Not you, Seth, you're, you're, you're with Valis. You, you're aware that this is dumb. And he, uh, he goes, right, 
when I open this box, you both have to scream very loudly, fuck off, spider. Ready? Three, two, one. And he throws the lid open. Fuck off, spider! <laughs> well done. You defeated the evil spider. <laughs> and now it's just Tinder. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Oh. Oh. How would we do that? I you? wouldn't have had liked to have had to face that spider. Uh, well, <laughs> it's nothing. We've had to deal with this magic tinder box a lot. Oh, can yeah. I? Uh, can I have my? Box I can only imagine. Up? I can only imagine why it's here in here, away uh, from everyone. Captain Hawk picks up the tinder box very gently and closes and goes. Only if you promise never to open it unless you're in dire need of assistance from a giant spider. Okay. <laughs> and he, ha he hands it back to you very carefully, like keeping one hand on top of the lid. Keeping like, a pressure on it. And he puts it back in your hand. Yeah. Um, can I cast a spell I don't have? <laughs> It'll be good. On my tinderbox? What It'll spell, good, what spell would you like to cast? And I'll, I'll decide if you can. Minor illusion. I would like to, <laughs> to make a spider and have it on Dayton's shoulder. Yeah, fuck it, why not? <laughs> oh no, I don't know this is happening, do I? <laughs> I'm, I'm too busy with my Tinder box. Oh! My pleasure. I, I, I sit back the, and drink my rum watching the show. We're, we're like, the people that defeated the Nofic, and look at us now. <laughs> Captain Hawk is not impressed with you guys, like you guys fucked up the Nofic, and you've taken out the Red Brands. Awesome. Uh, as a small, uh, what kind of spider is it, Sif? Um, one of the ones that has like ten thousand eyes. Mm. As as an eldritch spider climbs its way up Dayden's back and over his shoulder oh. and oh. just hangs out, there was like an ethereal dark blue mist coming out of the spider's leg joints as it stands there. It doesn't do anything. But it just stands there, staring at Dayden on his shoulder. Am I aware of this right now? <laughs> you hear um, in your ear, but you can't see anything. Uh, nope. You just hear the noise. <laughs> Everyone else can see the spider but you. Oh, has, uh, has Droop woken up? Droop is now oh. awake, and he is... Uh, he's strapped to Will. He, he's like just wriggling in his papoose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey! You said that fella. word with so much detest. Then. Yeah, because <laughs> I know where Oops. it's going. <laughs> um, where, where am I? Ah, oh, it's okay, little guy. You're safe. Ah, uh, big dragon! The bugbears have finally fed me to a dragon. <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't worry. Ah! The dragon wants to eat you. Drew uh, has to I get away from the dragon. He starts flashing. I start, I start, I like sort of hold him gently <laughs> and I'm saying in goblin, not, not, don't, don't be afraid, little the one. The dragon is trying to eat Droop. He's trying to persuade Droop. And he, uh, he, uh, roll me a, he's going to, he's going to try and break out of your grapple. <laughs> like my me. gentle fatherly grapple. This could be really embarrassing in front of court. You're embarrassing yourself in front of the army guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, he rolled an 11 plus 1 to 12. What's your strength? Oh. Nat 20. <laughs> oh. You, um, a as he tries to thrash, you, like, bring your hand down a bit too harshly and halt and pin him against you. <clears throat> he begins... <clears throat> I've got to be quiet because there's people around. But Troop, has someone helped Troop? He screams at the top of his lungs as he believes this dragon is like pinning him down to eat him. Shh, quiet, over. quiet! I'm not going to eat you. I'm not eat, not eating you. <laughs> Screaming oh, no. and fighting. I, I I punch Troop with the intention of oh, knocking God. him unconscious, not killing him. Oh. Uh, roll me an attack. Oh god, this poor little thing. Okay. <laughs> um, what's my um, like proficiencies for unarmed attacks? Do I uh, get anything? I don't believe you get any uh, modifiers. You just roll a d6. 
Oh no, roll a d20, surely, see if I... Yeah, yeah, no, you roll your attack, and then you oh, roll for damage. Oh, I get I advantage, because he's currently... Um, yeah, you get advantage. Great, so I rolled a fucking four there, so... <laughs> 17. Okay, yeah, you know, you, you definitely punched him. Hmm? Roll for damage on your d6. Oh. If you get a six, five or six, you'll knock him out successfully. I've got a one. Oh. Cool. Uh, you hit him, and he feels it, and he is now even more panicked and terrified at what is going on around him. I Shut can't up. No, no, don't, don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Uh, Poor little motions, fella. Do you have to see what you're casting on? Because he is inside a, a papoose at the moment. Um, uh, centered on a point, so it would actually calm everyone's emotions. If you can get eye contact with um, with Droop, I'll say you can cast it on him alone. Uh... I would, but I don't want to waste a second level slot now. I've realised it's a second level. <laughs> it's just a little shit thing. It, in my mind. You've hurt Droop! you hurt Droop and you're trying to eat Droop! I'm going to put my hand over his mouth to shut him up. Roll me a strength check. Oh my god. With advantage because he's skull. restrained. Yeah, with advantage because he's restrained. Um, strength check. Yeah. No, you have um, the little fella. I only got eight. Okay, he got a nat one. Oh. So you managed to like just shove your Goliath finger in his mouth. <laughs> and uh, not what I said. I said I was putting my hand over his mouth. I'm not inserting anything into his mouth. Well, he's now choking Too on late. your finger. <laughs> oh. Shut up or I'll kill you. <laughs> he goes white and he passes out. Ah. Oh. Good. Poor little seen, fella. Have you seen that video where there are two people in a Halloween store and one of them's wearing a mask, the other one's got oh, like yeah. a really long <laughs> <quick girl. laughs> <laughs> That's all I can think of. Okay. See it? Droop is out again. You have done oh. nothing to calm him down. He is terrified of the dragon who was staring at him and now this giant who finger banged his mouth. I... I... <laughs> <laughs> no Let's point try it with someone did different. I say that happened. <laughs> Can't we say give the papoose to somebody else? <laughs> no. So we yeah. could okay. have two oh. red demon looking things or a, an elf. Dayden, <laughs> <laughs> D- could, could you carry the little fella? Uh, <laughs> the one that assaulted him? No, Dayden, not Devon. Not, not Devon. Oh, sorry. Not Devon. <laughs> I'm sure I can I can put him in my, my rucksack. Oh, I didn't realise you only said... I can carry him out like a little Yoda. Okay. Okay. I'll, I, I'll, I... I'll, I'll, like, put him into his rucksack. Yeah, just, just plonk him in the back. But, like, lightly bound. Yes. <laughs> so, so he can't thrash too much when he wakes back up. What is this, Fifty Shades? <laughs> Fifty Shades, a oh. goblin. Uh... Fifty Shades of Goblin! Zibby, roll me a uh, dexterity check to see how well you do with these ropes. Oh, no. That is a five. Oh, let me just roll to see his... Okay. Okay, we'll find out what happens when he wakes up. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> Captain Hawk uh... looks about this room and he's like, I can't believe we're babysitting fucking Droop. <laughs> Right. Uh, if we carry on north, we will enter uh, <laughs> Glass Glassstaff's uh, chamber. Okay. Uh, I walk up the door the and north. check for traps. Uh, this first door? Nah, the second one. Okay, I was gonna say because you already went through that door or something. Yeah. Cool. I did. As you um, as you check for traps around the door. Uh, roll me a wisdom perception check. Devon plays very close that. attention to this because he wants to learn how to check for traps. So he's watching Valis here. That's 11 plus 2. As you put your ear to the door, you don't hear anything on the other side. Okay. And looking around the door, there are no obvious traps that you can see. Okay. Does anyone else want to look before I... Open this door. I will look, and I open the door. 
Cool. As you um, as you shove the door open, as as powerfully as possible, I'm trying to see if there's anything behind the door. I'm going to kill it with the door. Roll me a d20. See how powerfully you push the door open. An 18. Yeah, you um, you like you, you move Valis, Valis to one side, and you just like kick it almost immediately. As like you've like shooed him to one side, your foot has come up and just booted the door in. And as you've done this, a rope attached to the other side of the door gets released and a cage is lifted. And a small rat on the other side of the door is released into the room. Oh God, a rat. (laughs) Is it the Rat King? No. This room appears to be a wizard's workshop. A rat scurries across the floor and takes refuge under a large work table. Set up with... Al- Almabix, retorts, dis- uh, uh, distillation coils, and other alchemical devices. All of it stewing and bubbling away. Bookshelves are crowded with sheaves of parchment and strange looking tomes. Okay. I ignore oh. all Quick, of Daddy, this. Grab the rat. I, I, was say, I ignore all of this and dive under the table in an attempt to grab the rat. Okay, make me an Because athletics. I want a new pet because I can't find Dwayne. Make me an athletics check. Yep, that's what I'm good at. I you bet he doesn't even so feed it. 19. Non- I got, uh, got plus six on mine, so 19. Cool. As you dive under the table, you nice. manage to grab hold of the rat, narrowly missing the support beam under the table and the table t- on the underside of the tabletop itself. Like you hit, for your size, diving under this table and coming out the other side with the rat and not hitting anything is an amazing feat. Uh,. The rat is going to bite you. Uh, it rolled a nine, so its bite does nothing. It's got very weak jaws. I start petting it. And it's, I ask the rat, what's your name, rat? It continues to gnaw on you. I, I hold it firmly so as it can't bite me, but not so firmly as to become Lenny. I was about to say, you're going to let eat this rat. I'm going to pet it and squish it and squeeze it. Uh, just think um, of the I'm rabbit, sorry, George. Think of the rabbits, George. Press the digitation on the rat to make it glow. Do you want to make it clean just in case it's carrying plague or something? <laughs> no, I'm too busy I'd rather make it, it grow lo- glow luminous green. Yeah, that works out so well for the last one. Cool. Uh, <laughs> It, it's like held forcefully in place by Devon. Like, it, it looks like it would be struggling. Like, its eyes are darting about the place. And it begins to glow. A nice phosphorus green. Fluorescent green, sorry. <gasps> I will call him Dwayne Two. <laughs> Electric from, Boogaloo. F- from the rat, you can hear a little... <laughs> as it, Calm down, uh, Dwayne Two. Muffled squeak. Okay. Um, is there like a box in this room I could put the rat in? I have a tinder box. Before, before we put it in the box, before you put it in the box, can we, um, can we do a perception check to see if the rat is at all magical or not actually a rat? Um, if you wanted to see if it was magical, you'd need to use detect magic if you have that. Does anyone have detect magic? Uh, at least I nope. did. Where's it gone? Oh, I do it, sir. I cast Detect Magic. Cool. What do you need to do for Detect Magic? Just say it and it's done. Or... Why not? Um... <laughs> There's lots of reasons why not. <laughs> As well. Um... If you said the magic... I'll be right back. I need to pee. No problem. Are you getting to get No. No. Not by the looks of it. Weeing. <laughs> So, for duration, you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sense magic in in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around visible creatures, objects in the area that bears magic. Uh, you learn the school of magic, if any. The spell can penetrate most barriers, but it is blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of blah, 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 blah. So, it just happens. Okay. Uh, so, as you cast Detect Magic, you pick up the uh, the typical magic you normally pick up from your friends, uh, but from the rat, 
you pick up uh, you sense an evocation spell coming from the rat. Does it tell you what type of uh, what the name of, you can detect what the name of the spell is or just just the type? The, yeah, the school. Uh, so you, you detect a school an evocation school spell coming from the rat. Everyone, there's some sort of evocation on this thing. Don't eat it. Don't eat the rat. It could oh. be a boy. I see. Um, do we actually have any useful spells? Who's going to try and eat the rat? <laughs> no one's trying to eat the rat. Um, Not yet. Oh, I can speak with the dead, but that doesn't help us unless we kill the rat. <laughs> so let's not do that one. Right, so, I'm going to empty out my tinder box that I have as part of my explorer's pack, put the rat in the tinder box, and just shut the lid. Do you want to put some holes in How, there? yeah, like how tight the seal on that box? So I don't really think of stuff like that. So it's a good thing you guys are here. Oh yeah. boy, we're going to have another Keith situation, aren't we? God. What? Uh, who's Keith? I've not, I've not heard of a Keith ever. No. Can, can I go back in time what and say I, I did identify instead of detect magic? Oh, I remember Keith. <laughs> Uh, what was uh, that? Was you did identify not detect magic? Can, can I say that? Um, no, you can cast another spell. Oh, fine. Yeah. I identify on the rat. Cool. Oh, Which will also tell this. me. I learn what spell and any anything affecting it. Cool. You uh, you detect the spell telepathy coming from the rat. Oh, for fuck's sake! Why isn't it not Ooh. trying to speak to us then? Because it's not linked to you guys. Uh, right, don't let go of that thingy. That's the Jig spy. Uh, Shall we break its neck? The rat gives a shifty eye and then begins to panic as you mentioned breaking its neck. I'm down, Dwayne, too. Uh, right. right. What do you well, mean, it, what it do you can... mean it's a spy? Can the, can the four of us just huddle up together? And um, Devin, if you go play with your new friend in the corner a minute. Don't okay. let it go. Just don't let it go. Yeah. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> we're okay. we're going to have to deal with this in a very careful manner. Like, Devin loves his new Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne <laughs> too, electric and bugger lady. Dwayne has to, has to die. <laughs> so, so... Well, maybe <laughs> if I, if I like, surreptitiously sleep, uh, cast Sacred Flames, it just burst into Radiant Flame. How no, it wasn't anything about, to do with us. How about the the very, very sneaky, sleight of handy man maybe snaps its neck without Devon noticing? I was just going to say, we could always just switch the tinderboxes out. That's a good show. Um, and then or... snap Aiden, you can up your magic tinderbox. Yeah. My magic... I have my magic tinderbox. Yeah, but if you switch no. it with his... You'll think I've also it's a got rat. a goblin on my back and a spider on my shoulder that I can't see. I can take something else. <laughs> Either that or... I'm fairly certain it's borrowed into my brain Sif, right now. Sif could cast a Crown of Madness on it. So oh. she can control it. Oh. Right. To falsely report... Yeah. Mm, actually, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good, yeah. It's better okay, than while, you, while you guys are discussing in the corner, we're going to cut over to Devon and the rat quickly. Uh -oh. We are wasting spells on a rat. The rat has calmed down somewhat in your hands, Devon, and is looking at you with very wide eyes. Almost like um. puppy dog eyes from a rat. So your name is Dwayne too. Don't ask what happened to Dwayne one because it, it, it squeaks and nods its head very quickly when you say its name is Dwayne too. Good, good. And it licks your palm. Oh, God. you're my friend, and I'm going to look after you. It runs up your shoulder and nuzzles next to your neck. Good boy. It squeaks again and nods. Apparently, you're a spy. It's oh, I wish I had like a squeaker like sooty and sweet. <laughs> it shakes. Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've got dog toys. I've got dog toys. Why am I oh. saying I have dog toys? <laughs> <laughs> kind of a shit. 
plank this shit squeaker. <laughs> there we go. What the fuck is wrong with that rat? It's been squeezed too hard. <laughs> um, you sound like you have a cold. It, it shakes its head from side to side and goes, <laughs> Don't worry, I'll look after you. <laughs> and it you just stay on my shoulder for a bit. It nuzzles up next to you and like just so it puts itself somewhat underneath your arm and next to your neck, well, just so it's more protected. Well, she's glowing green at the moment, so here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your guy. Hey, that doesn't look like a rat. That looks like Dwayne. You said he had big, <laughs> big oh, eyes oh, and he was glowing so. green. I hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah, okay. Okay, guys, back to you, as we've now established that Devon has imprinted, or the rat has imprinted on Devon. Uh... Okay, um, I do agree that Crown of Madness would be cool, but that is going to use up my spells. Well, is it okay for me to use up my spells once? <laughs> well, yes, but it seems a bit... I don't have many spells, and I'd right. rather maybe not. Like, even if we report back, oh yeah, this room is cleared, doesn't necessarily mean he's going to come out. I imagine he's run away and he's not in the building anymore. But yeah, possibly not, but essentially, yeah. You'll know where we every, are. Every the... every move we make will be known to our enemy. Uh, unless, unless he's dead. Put... Yeah, yeah, unless the rat's dead. And every move you make, he'll be watching you. Every step we take. Another plan is Zivi, you have some incredibly strong alcohol. <laughs> And yeah. rats have like no tolerance for alcohol at all. So you could just go up to Devon, he doesn't know that rats aren't meant to drink alcohol, and give the yes. rat a lovely drink. Back in a second. He might not even notice that he's dead. He could just be will, taking a very long rest. Will the rat drink it? We don't know. You could force the rat to drink There's it. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> If you just plunge its head in the cup, it will eventually have to breathe in. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, you this is that. going to some dark yeah. places. <laughs> yeah, like, there are things that could happen, like, you know, word of radiance, which uh, would make it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um. What if, or what we could do, is we could sneakily, you know, remove the rat, and then we cast Minor Illusion on Devon to make him think the rat is still there, and then we just have it, like, run away under, a, like, a, a hole. Yeah, That's I'm not, not sure if job. I want So something. that way he thinks at least Dwayne too is happy somewhere. Not knowing that we snapped its neck. Then if you know, see minor a illusion, normal rat, it's just like you see. So I, I would feel that I wasn't holding the rat anymore. Just messing this. Cool. Oh god, duck! He's, he's gone. Like... He's run. Exactly. He's, he's on, on the run. run. Quick, got him. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe we just find a normal rat and give Don't it to him. Look, bounce. we found exactly. him again. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Someone snapped the rat's neck. Okay. In all this time. Captain Hawk has like gone back to the other room and he's come back with another. Well, he's done this like three times now. He's had three trips. He's got three more pints of ale. He's drunk. I like your style. Yeah. Just. I mean, if if in, if needs be, we could always just pin it on Captain Hawk. Gotta go. Oh, do you wanna do you wanna try a bit of this, Captain Hawk? No, thank you. I will stick to my ale. I saw that stuff catch a light like hellfire at the bottom How of the stairs. How about some of mine? It's good stuff. <laughs> Would you now, like some of mine? Now, bearing in mind, the only time he's seen an alchemy drug being used was me, and it was rum. He he's doesn't also know. Seen, he's, no, he's also seen Sif take a drink from that one and spit it out all over the place. And that you did true. say it was cum. So he looks at you and he's like, no, thank you. <laughs> and he makes his way back into this other room and just sits down at one of the tables with a barrel of a keg of ale next to him and is just drinking while you guys decide what to do with the rat. Okay, I feel like David's probably best equipped to snap, snap the rat's neck. I feel like you have most experience, you know? Yeah. In killing rats or just 
Sneakily, Sneakily killing. snapping okay. nets. Okay, let's try that then. Um, I'm not. I'm not particularly subtle. Also, if, uh, Devin, if Devin realizes and crushes me, um, please tell well, my mother and father that um, I didn't mean to steal their most prized, you know, possessions. But still, Alice, while we do this, could you have maybe like calm emotions prepared, ready, or could you blind <laughs> Devin to whatever we're about to do? <laughs> One second, I just need to text Jake. <laughs> I'm actually wondering if I cast. So, if at the time you go to to snap its neck, if I cast prestidigitation to make like some spot, like lights pass through him, not through him, but like around his eye line, he would probably look at them. Yes, probably would. So I could provide a distraction. Yes. So That's I'll do idea. that. You snap neck. Val ready with the calming emotions. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's try that then. Go team! <laughs> yeah! Well, hands in. <laughs> God, if I screw this up, it's going to be... Out of interest, fun. how is Captain Hawk getting these drinks? Because surely his, his arms are still bound. He's using his teeth. Hold the glass. I mean, his hands are, like, tied in front of him. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that you hadn't sneakily... Taking his bindings off for some reason. I mean, we didn't say you tied him very well, but okay. Yeah, he's just like slipping out and <laughs> pouring himself in. some <laughs> ale. And... Yeah. Okay, uh, so mm. let's do this. <clears throat> let's put on some uh, combat music to make it a bit worse. Where's my sneak? <laughs> It's like really sad, manipulative Basically, music. Daden, you're going to roll a d20 in a second, and depending on how you roll, depends on how the rest of this goes down. Well, good news is my sleight of hand and my stealth is pretty damn high. Good. I, sh- I should be fine. And, Devin, how's your perception these days? Pretty bad. Like a two, right? <laughs> plus two. Okay, it should be fine. Okay. My, my stealth is plus 11, so we should be fine. Okay. Dayden, let's cool. let's let's role play this. What are you doing? Uh where is where is Devon right now? Devon's in the corner of the room. Let's top let's, let's say top right corner near the door. And I'm sitting that's in, him the in the corner. corner. That's him in, in the, the spotlight. <laughs> and, and let's so say my, my back is to the corner. Here. My back is to the corner, so I'm looking out of the room and I'm just playing with my room. This has made it harder, hasn't it? Like Android 16 mm. of his birds. Um, so, <laughs> using my myself, I, I blend myself into what appears to be the wall. And I uh, shuffle. Roll, roll me a stealth check. Oh, okay. How good are you at hiding from your, your friends? Um, In got, a room. I got 25. <laughs> That's I how mean, good he is. I That's mean, how good you, I am. Where the <laughs> fuck has Dayden gone? Devin, you're, Devin's paying too much attention to his rat uh, to see you disappear, <laughs> but you, you walk behind everyone else as they're looking at Devin, and you jump up to the ceiling, and using your roguish skills, you, like, crawl your way along the beams and the roof. I didn't know you had spider climb too. <laughs> he's not, he's, to it, it's, it's pure strength and <sighs> roguish skill. He has not got spider climb, but you'd think he did have it. Spider the way Devin. he's moving, Spider didn't. like Message an accomplished shift. thief. That looks Crawling on the ceiling okay. to kill a rat. Okay, you are above Devon. Um, at this point in time, I can see said rat. So I reach down very slowly to uh, to grab said rat, hoping at this point in time that someone is going to distract him. Otherwise, this is going to be really Master awkward. Digitation. There we go. Flashy lights. So uh, as as, uh, as so, d- when I see flashing lights, not knowing <laughs> what they are, I get protected. My fingers try and stop crushed. my rat running towards them. Uh, using my sleight of hand, I switch out said rat for a roll roll sleight of hand and <laughs> then roll perception. Immediately sized tinderbox. Yeah, thirteen. Um, I got 
I was expecting Christ. like a five. What a monster. I am so glad we don't do a lot of rogue things against me. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Whilst, whilst Devin is not not realising because he's too distracted by the flashy lights, I swoop in and out, getting said rat, replacing it with said tinderbox. Okay. Roll me animal handling, Dayden. Uh, oh, crap. Gonna get bit. Oh, <laughs> No, I got 13. 13? Unfortunately, this rat knows what your game plan is from the beginning, so he is Fuck. not going to be playing ball. He lets out a squeak as you grab hold of his tinderbox, alerting okay. Devon to your presence. I grab you. Hey, I, you you. <laughs> I grab you. <laughs> hey, Dayden, use the rat to break your fall. Good idea. Okay, so, <laughs> then technically, wait, 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 no, no. Rat. What, I, what I've done here is you were reaching <laughs> down to you grab the rat. I grabbed you by the hand and I slammed you to the floor. I'm still holding your arm above the floor. I'm not as, slamming, releasing you. I'm so, kind of just bang. So I've as, still got the rat above the floor. So as he does it, so, could I use my incredibly, as I found out now, dexterous and strong toes to just like. <laughs> Like Blaming it on said Devon. Well, I'd say right, roll strength checks against each other. <laughs> Dayton, you're rolling for grip. Devon, you're rolling for your pull. Dayton you... does have the rat in his hand, though. I, I, I don't have strength. What are you talking about? You're trying to grip on as a, as a, a Goliath is pulling you from the ceiling. <laughs> you're going to have to use your strength to oh, hold shit. it there. 15. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> what did you roll? I haven't rolled yet. <laughs> I don't want to... Is oh. that with your modifier, Devon? Yes. I'm trying to find my strength modifier. It'll be top left ability scores. It'll be the modifier. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Um, this is tense. I got my strength base is one is eleven. I got I got one. Oh yeah, no, you you hit the floor. <laughs> you 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 <laughs> weren't ready for him. You weren't ready for the rat to squeak and for Devon to just be so does, quick on the draw. Wait, so hang on. So I'm just so just so I've got this worked out in my head. So Devon has literally judo thrown me from where I was <laughs> over myself. I'm guessing we've now just squished the goblin in my backpack. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, Kevin <laughs> cares not for goblins. True. That that wasn't in your plan, I mean, was it, Jake? At least I had a soft landing. Give me a second. You oh, hadn't thought of that. <laughs> I mean, goblins die all the time in D and D. Not this one. <laughs> uh, let me quickly roll for damage. No. Uh, Impact with the ground. Uh, That's uh, a lot of damage. I'm gonna say it's a D six. Uh, oh god. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, he, he, take, he took a hit of three. He is awake again. <laughs> and he is screaming his head off. You also did not tie your ropes tight enough. His arms oh, are no. free. Oh, actually, uh, I forgot to add plus two modifier. It still wasn't enough. He got Shit. 18. He put oh, his fuck. hands over Dayden's eyes. Ooh, I run in to grab, okay, grab Troop. I would Hold punch Dayton in the stomach. Oh, because I'm not going for, for, for lethal, I'm just going to incapacitate you, you bastard. Okay, roll for, beat his, roll for damage. Or roll for attack and then roll for damage. Hey, hey oh. Val, how's calming emotions coming? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm debating it at the moment. <laughs> 15. Too busy drinking ale with, the, with Hawk. I, and Watch. I would like to grapple Droop. What's your like armor class, Dayton? Get him off. Uh, oh, I Dayton. cast calm emotions. 16. I'm, I underhit it and I didn't catch oh, it. Phew. Unless I get a modifier on my punches. I don't know, are you, are you raging? No, but um, do I get rage. like my strength modifier on my arms? Um, on, you, you do get your modifier on your attack, but not for damage. No, not for damage, just for the attack. Yeah, you get it on your attack, but not for damage. Oh, so, in, in which case I, I hit him. Four. How oh, much damage? Uh, no modifier. A D4 or a D6? First. Uh, D4. I Just the one. So my one you hit him for one. Just one Dayton, point of damage. You got oh, okay. light. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and mild winding. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to get in there and grab troop. Let's everyone roll for initiative then. See how this but goes. I've, I've cast calm emotions before that. 
No, that they had to finish their little scuffle first. I'm not going to let you just jump in without. Oh, God, um, that hurt so much. Eleven. Uh, I did not get that much. Who rolled sixteen? Nineteen. Okay, I think I only got uh, initiative. I got ten. So roll initiative. We are in fighting. Who rolled ele- uh, 11 was you, I Devin, see. yeah? 11 was me, yes. Devin? Uh, what did you roll, Dayden? Uh, 10. 10. Uh, there you got a 1. A 10. Uh, roll again. A 5. Okay, up first in the turn order is Valis. I cast Calm Emotions. About time. Read the description <laughs> of Calm Emotions. You attempt to suppress strong emotions within a group of people. It, um, oh, each humanoid within 20 foot radius sphere, centered on a point of your choice, within range must make charisma saving throws. A creature can choose to fail this saving throw if it wishes. If a creature fails its saving throw, choose one of the following two effects. It's basically, I can decide to make them stop fighting, essentially. Only if okay. it's a humanoid, though. Uh, so it's only the rat that won't get affected by it. I'm the only one who really needs to roll. Yeah, so yeah. everyone else can choose to fail and Sorry. become calm what, again. What is your what is the spell save DC? Um, that's the DC bit on car emotions, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 13. should be lost. 13, 13. Right. So my charisma modifier is minus one. <laughs> so... A 13 minus one, 12. Oh, thank God for that. Okay. I mean, thank God well, for I, that. I got 19 plus four. You can choose to fail it, but you don't really need to. Yeah, I don't really need to. But I'm I'm just going into. But also, what did the uh, droop. yeah? What did Droop get? Droop rolled a nineteen. Oh God! Droop is still aggressive. Is he still? Is he still well, covering up my eyes? Yep. Can I, I? I'm I'm trying to grab him. Okay. I'd like to try and free one hand from you know Devon's mighty grip whilst smacking the okay. goblin who's, as well. Who's next after Valis? I got 16. After Valis is Zibby. Ah, okay. Well, I, I would like to try and pull, like, grab, grab Druk by the arms and put, sort of pull him off. Uh, beg your pardon? Giggity. <laughs> <laughs> pull him off of Dayden. Okay. okay. Um, give me a quick second. Dirty oh, bastards. Just... <laughs> oh, you dirty bastards. You dirty bastards. Uh... Uh, there it is. Come on, make it bigger. Can't wait to hear what the title of this Giggity. episode is going to be. We can discuss that at the end. <laughs> okay. Like, the fuckwits are at it again. Yep. Okay. Um, this is... You're you're going to try and remove uh, Droop yes. from da- from uh, Dayden. Roll for roll your strength. Uh, that is a ten. Plus one, eleven. He got a ten plus three, thirteen. He is <sighs> hanging on. Oh damn it! Up next is Devon. Gonna, gonna also like try and tell him to, to leave. Yeah, you you, you can yeah. shout at him. Yeah, and, yeah. And, I'll and... I'll shout at him like, stop it, stop it. We're uh, not trying to hurt you. He screams back. Calm. He screams back. Ah, dragon, dragon. Evil dragon and evil friends. As he uh, begins to like, grab on harder to uh, Dayden's head. Ow! Uh, up next is Devon. Yeah, I'll just take the rat, let go of him. Protect the rat. Sit back. I've not even stood up. Sit back. Like, I'm uh, calm, but I'm on edge. I'm calm, but You're not I'm, attacking anymore, I'm, but yeah, you I'm still not, know no. what you want. Roll I use a, my foot to roll him away from me. What, do a strength check to get the uh, rat out of Dayden's hand. <laughs> right, so I rolled a three, 
with my modifier of um, three, six. So, Dayton, okay, can you beat a six, six of your strength? Uh, I'm sure I can. Ah. Uh, what's my strength? Where's it gone? Where's I my got a gone? seven. Minus. <laughs> I don't get a minus. Oh, you got a... All right. Damn, I thought his modifier was less. Okay. Nope. Uh, so, Devin, unfortunately, you have not been able to get the rat from Dayden. Dayden, it's your turn. In which case, I keep hold of Dayden's hand. That's got Ow! Ow! Um, I... Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to get in. Could I, in an attempt to, you know, undo myself from Devin's grip whilst having, you know, this goblin face up me into oblivion, I, I would I, like to try and use the rat to get rid of the droop by, you know, kind of smoshing it into his face. See if it could uh, bite him to get you, him off. You have to try and break Devon's grip to get that hand free. Oh, okay, I'll try and do that. Okay. Or um, you could use your other hand to try and get um, droop off of you. Swap pounds. How, how am I going to do that? I've got one hand stuck and the other one's got a rat. Oh, no. I thought the one that's oh. stuck is the, the one that's stuck is the one yeah. with rat, no? Oh, yeah, if that's yeah. the case, then I would like to use my other hand to smack Group to try and get okay. him off, or at least poke him in the eye. We could have switched to the rat neck. <laughs> Your strength what? has to be... You have to be... Uh, 17, 18, you have to be a 20. You rolled a 17 plus 3 for strength. Oh, I rolled 18. Um, uh, what's your modifier? How has this little thing got a plus 3 on strength? Because it is a feral goblin now. Um, Let me just see what my strength is. Strength... Uh, I don't have a strength modifier though. You if you don't have a modifier, you just rolled an eighteen. Sure. Yep. Uh, yeah, no, Droop is still hanging onto your head. <clears throat> uh, up next is Sif. I'm gonna oh cast <laughs> <laughs> Crown of Madness on Devon. On Devon, okay. <laughs> oh no. What? <laughs> You still got my hand, by the way. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, <laughs> read out the stuff for, for um, Crown of Madness. Um, one humanoid of your choice that you can see within range must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Throw Dro will be charmed by me. While the target is charmed in this way, a crown will appear on his head, and the charm cut the target must do what I say. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was your what DC did you have to beat? Sixteen. Plus, on, is Devin, that with the mod you. as well? Uh, no, got... it's just sixteen. Okay. There's no mod. What's your minus on wisdom again? Minus one. Ah. Thick as shit. <laughs> I'm fingers crossed for an eighteen. Just pull out the bag. I want this to carry on. <laughs> this is fun. I'm, I'm just imagining guys. how this all looks to glass stuff. <laughs> oh, sixteen. So that's fifteen. Uh, unfortunately, the Crown of Madness succeeds. I mean, hooray, the Crown of Madness succeeds. Yay! Um, Dayden, be ready to give him the rat. What? So, what I'm going to do is make Devon take the rat from Dayden and squeeze him a little bit too hard that he accidentally oh. crushes the rat to death. Oh. He's going full Lenny. So, full no, but Lenny. he doesn't... He doesn't know, he thinks he's just retrieving the rat from Dayden, but accidentally lennying him. Hold on, oh. I need. To, I, I now need to check up to see if people under Crown of Madness know they're being influenced. Oh, oh, I, it. oh I didn't think about that. I was just hoping they wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I was hoping he wouldn't know either, but now I need to know. Uh... Oh, this is going to be a fun story to tell in the morning. <laughs> they do, don't they? It doesn't say either way. Yeah, I, I would like to have a ruling on this. Are we okay with my ruling, or would you like me Depends to find what something it is. out? <laughs> well, let me know now if you're okay with what I say. If you want me to find something out, I like to not know. <laughs> but either way. I'm on the Reddit. <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, I'll I'll be fine with your ruling, to be fair. Hold on, let me. Okay, Devon, you will not know that it's happened. I just had to flip a coin. Oh, thank God. <laughs> to find, uh, to decide. So I've looked up Crown of Madness, and basically, <sighs> that you can get me to do stuff, but you can't get me to accidentally crush the rat. You can get me to attack the rat. Technically, squeezing it slightly is an attack. <laughs> Squish damage, you know? I mean, okay. you've been given the rat by Daden, and you've now been told to attack the rat. Okay. How would how would Devon interpret this? The rat survives this somehow. I would punch it. I would hold it in one hand and punch it in the other. Oh, jeez. It just seems the simplest way of doing shit. Okay. Roll, oh. roll, roll for attack. Oh, God. I rolled a two. Oh. You did not beat its armor class. Oh, my so, God. Wait, plus three. three no, you did not beat its five. armor class. How tough is this rat? It's got an armor class of 10 and one hit point. You fucking failed at killing a rat. <laughs> Surely because it's grappled, though, he gets, um, he gets advantage. 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 Okay, go on, roll again. That was a nine plus three. Yeah, okay. Okay, now roll for damage. You got your, Do I need uh, your to roll for damage? <laughs> Yes. You've got one hit point. You need you to know you... how much you squish it. Yeah. Like yeah. How, much you how, how much you got, destroy this rat. You rolled three, yeah, okay. The rat's been pounded flat. Oh, fuck. Aw, poor rat. I could roll for itself, now. or I could just take what it says. It's done Either now. way, it's going to have three health, because that's minus one to its health. Okay. The rat has been pounded flat. Oh, uh, okay. Captain Hawk, uh, on his turn, walks into the room and just sees you guys in like a fucking, a bunch of locks and stuff on the floor. And he like just slowly cl closes the door. And he's like, come get me when you're ready to carry on. <laughs> and he, uh, he goes back. It is now Droop's turn. Oh. And Droop is going to... Oh, Droop is going to activate his bloody lust. Huh? And do a multi attack on Daden. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Droop. I don't feel the same way about you. <laughs> uh, I was, I, I did not consent to this. I, I'm saying no. So his Glad blood, we need you. <laughs> no means no. The bloodlust allows him to do an extra three d six of damage to a creature. Three d six. Is that penetrating damage? Uh, it, <laughs> like it. it is going to be either clawing or biting damage. So it's going to do its multi attack first. Mm, kinky. I mean, a bit of biting's all right every the now first, and then. I don't the first that. hit on the multi-attack is an 11 plus 5, 16. Oh, damn, that hits. Okay, and the first one is going to be a bite. It is going to do a d6 plus 3 of damage. Oh, God. Uh, it done 6 plus 3, 9. <gasps> now, the second attack is the one it's going to use bloodlust on, so this is the one you don't want to hit. Oh, that's Ow. an 11 plus 5, 17. Oh! Uh, um, plus going... 5 is 16. <laughs> oh, sorry, 16. My bad. Uh, it is going to do its claw attack, which is luckily a d4 plus 3. That is 3 plus 3, 6. Add 3d6 of damage. I'm dead! No, did you, did you do a long rest at the beginning to regain your yeah, health? Yeah, I'm, I'm dead! How many health points do you have? I have 33! You've used 33 health points as well. That right? literally killed me! No, How did he no. do 33 health points? Because he's just done all that damage. He did nine. Plus oh, no, yeah, he did nine. Sixteen. Why is it That's 16? like twenty odd damage. No, no, no. He only gets the three d six on the second attack. Oh wait, hang on. So wait, let me let me go back up and let me. So hang on. How much damage have I taken so far? I think you took one from Devon's punch. Oh yeah. And then uh, something from the slam. Then it was nine. Oh yes. Yeah. So what was it from the slam? Two. Right, and then it was so that's the, then it was nine damage in yep. the first one. Yep. That's down to twenty one. Second one did six. So Okay, I'm on fifteen health then. Okay. And now you dead. get now you get three D six of uh, bloodlust. That's right. six, four, and one. So oh. eleven. Ah oh, yeah, that really hurts. 
as a uh, as he does this, Droop begins to scream to be let free. Let no. me go! Ah. Oh, he grips hold of your head. <laughs> uh, it is back to Coop. I am going to try Help. and use message to persuade him to calm down. Uh, you could just use persuasion instead of using a spell okay. to do it. I just wanted just to know because it's, it's a cantrip, so it doesn't cost anything. Uh, it's just more because I wanted to get into his head so he doesn't so he actually uh, hears it properly. It, it, it would work the same way as just persuasion. You're just okay, I try and persuade him to calm down. Okay, roll persuasion and tell him what you say. He doesn't bite my ears off. Uh, that is an 18 plus 6. Um, please calm down, little goblin. We're not here to hurt you. And you've done quite a lot of damage to my friend. <laughs> uh, it looks at you, Coop, and sees that you are a demon person. Yes. Oh, no, I also say it in... Uh, in um, what oh, in his no. native tongue? Cool. You I have. still look like a demon person. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I've got horns. <laughs> and he he begins screaming, and he does not let go. What? Uh, Zibby, your turn. Zibby, why did I take this thing? You know me? what? I'm I'm going to roll intimidation. <laughs> cool. Uh, and. Uh, oh shit! That's a fucking four. Do you not Plus have, seven. Do you not have That's any, an eleven. Do you not have any inspiration at all? Uh, yeah, I'll say, yeah, I'll say you have inspiration. All right, nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Well, well, it's like a fucking rat. You guys all like, let's kill the fucking thing. This guy <laughs> one of your team. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh. Yeah, no, it like spits at you. Oh, and uh, continues to grip Devon's head. Oh God, my David's oh, head! For fuck's sake! My head but you were currently... all gonna kill an innocent rat, but this guy's actually hurting someone, and you're like, <laughs> calm him down, calm him down. I mean, not not, not necessarily. Devon, your turn. Oh, Tiff, what do I do? Oh, I don't think. You're still in control. Have... Do I? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, can you? <laughs> just, yeah, this just... is the way the spell works. Could you please grab Dobby? Sorry, what's he actually <laughs> called? Droop? Droop. And like hold him, but like hold him out away from you, but like tight. And away from David. <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, like away I, from people. I'll, I'll stand up this. and I'll grab him by. He's a goblin, right? Yep. Yeah. Grab him by his ears and just lift him up. So, what should I roll? Uh, roll strength. He got 16. 15. Uh, you do not manage to pull him free by grabbing him by his ears, but he does begin to scream a bit louder. I'm now going to roll a d20 uh, as a wisdom save to see if I break through of the spell. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, 12. What's the DC? 16. Yeah, I'll be in this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> like, can I stop it or something? Yeah, you that can. Once. Uh, okay. On your turn, you can use your action to keep control of the target, or you can end the spell. Right, okay. I see. Okay, it is now Dayton's turn. Uh, I'm going to continue <laughs> with my my blind flailing punching. So, uh, have you still got health points left? Just Yes, I do. Okay, okay. So, I'm going to blind flail punch this dude. Okay, roll me a d20. I'm ju just going to say, sorry, uh, DM here. Bit of meta. Yeah. I've got this goblin by the ear, so if he misses the attack, is he going to hit me? Probably. <laughs> no, but you have... He is now flanked, so you do get advantage on this attack. <gasps> Lucky you. Well, I'm now flanked. No, um, I, flanked. I got five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that does not do his armor class. Uh, here is a picture of him. Wait, you have advantage, though. Yeah, can't you roll again? Uh, yeah, you can roll again. Oh, let me roll again. That's what's currently humping my head? Yeah, he no, was yeah. so much cuter in my Jesus. head. Oh no, he, he was, but then he became feral when uh, oh, okay. you guys started like abusing him. I never abused him. Well, Look let's at him. Just, he's, let's he's end swole. it. Technically, this is Devin's fault for, for slopping him on the floor, <laughs> and I rolled a six, all right? So. This is all your fault for fucking keeping it. I didn't do nothing. If I had known this was going to happen, I would have told Zibby to keep hold of the papoose. Okay, uh, <laughs> what, what, Dayton, what are you doing? I've got a six. 
Okay, yeah, you know, you, you still have not beat his armor class, and he is hanging oh! onto your face. Uh, up next is Sif. Right, I'm and gonna uh, this spell on me. Please. Um, I, how many health points do you have, Jaden? I have four. I'm gonna use Cure Wounds on oh Jaden. I think this would then end the spell on me. Yeah, yeah. concentration. Yeah, it's concentration. Sorry, I'm trying to work out. So one D8 plus my spellcasting ability. So what is your spellcasting ability? I think it's charisma, isn't it? Yes. So you're plus your charisma modifier. So eight. No, not eight. I'm sorry. Go back. Is that... So un under charisma, what's your modifier? Five. So eight plus five. Okay. Do I have to roll, or is it just eight? Plus no, that's five? what he gets. Cool. <clears throat> so you got eight plus five back to your health, Dayden. Uh, so thirteen. Okay. Cool. It is now Captain Hawk's turn. <laughs> He takes another sip of his ale. I thought so. <laughs> he takes two drink damage. <laughs> he takes well, he takes a knock to his constitution. <laughs> okay. It is Droop's turn again. He is going. <laughs> I didn't see he can do that. Okay. Um God, this is awful. Uh, he is going to do another multi-attack on Dayden. Uh, and he will also do the bloodlust on the second attack. First attack was a 5 plus 5, 10. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? Oh. Yep, I'm fine. I'm just acting out the screams of pain. Okay. <laughs> second attack My ears. was a 3 plus 5, 8. Okay, he fucked up this turn. Pardon? Uh, Pardon? A three plus eight. A, a three plus five equals eight. He has not beat your armor class. He missed both attacks. Woo! Coop, it's your turn again. I'm gonna shoot this thing in the head with a crossbow. Cool. I've had enough of it, shit. You guys are gonna hate how many health points this fucker has. Oh, you're kidding. So if it is it listen before I actually fire this, I think to myself. How, how much health do I think this thing has? <laughs> you know that they are quite healthy. Quite healthy. Oh, so, well, then I'm going to change my plan, then. If I'm standing over this thing, holding his ears, and it's on um, Dayton's back, uh, does he head. kind of have cover? No, no, it's uncovered. We'll say everyone else is standing in front of it. So from very close, I'm going to guiding bolt this thing in the face, then. Please okay. <laughs> it's a guide, but it should guide. Okay. Uh, uh, roll, roll, roll for damage. Roll for damage? Yeah, or attack, sorry. Roll for your attack. Uh, that is a 15. What do I add to that? 15 hits. 15 hits, Alan. I don't know. Then I have got. I'll only do it at a normal level, so four. Are you sure you're not doing it at four at normal level? Fine, I'll do it at level two then. That is. Twenty three damage. Okay. <clears throat> so that's. Okay, he is still doing fine. And because you attacked him, it activates his reaction of bloody rampage. When the goblin takes damage, it makes one attack of its claws against a random creature within reach. It is going to swing for Devon. Mainly because I want to give Dayden a fucking break. Oh, How random uh, is that? Well, it, it's random as though you, you're the other one holding it. You uh, surely you should roll a dice and I'm odds and he's evens. 18 plus five. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Okay. And it is doing a claw attack, which is a d4 plus 3. 
Oh, where'd it go? I think I dropped the dice. Uh, four plus three, seven. Cool. Uh, cool. Uh, it is now Zibby's turn. Okay, I'm going to use Toll the Dead, which at, at fifth level you use either 2d8 on a failed... So at fifth level, do you have access to fifth level spells? Oh. I thought that was fifth level... Uh, no, no, so, so no, you you got fifth level uh, general, I think you've only got access to third right, level. Right, exactly. Second. Right, okay. Oh, wait, is, okay. Just, is Toll the Dead a cantrip? Yes. I'm pretty sure, no, I think he's right, Jake. When he hits level five, the cantrip damage increases slightly. Slightly, but I don't think he can't stay at fifth level. No, no, I don't think it means fifth level. What, Zibby, what were you going to say? Um, it literally doubles, so it, you're probably right. It's probably not fifth level. So he, he can cast the cantrip but other levels, but it doesn't cost anything. Yeah. It, it doesn't cost anything. So um, just when you hit level five, I think you roll one extra damage dice. It's, it's nothing major. Yeah. Yeah, because I've, I've got to do that, like, when you get to level five, it's you get an extra dice damage. Yeah, so I, th- I think he's right here, Jake. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay well, so- um, <laughs> DC of 13. Okay. And also, what does it do if uh, you get? Oh, sorry. So DC thirteen on what? Sorry, on his charisma. Uh, wisdom. On wisdom. Okay, you got lucky. He rolled a thirteen, but his wisdom's minus one, so twelve. Okay, that's two D twelve then. Oh. oh, nice. That is a nine and a seven. And uh, does it get doubled because he's lost health, or is it under half health that he gets? It gets no, it, no, doesn't, it doesn't get doubled. It's, it, uh, it's, it's just two d twelves. The damage dice is bigger when he's injured, Jake. Yeah, okay. it's either two d eights on a on a uh, successful saving throw or two d twelves on a failed. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, he's taken more damage, and he still looks pretty healthy. And his reaction is going to kick off again. No, he can't, Jake. You, get, uh, one rea- you get one reaction per round. I want to say it happens again. Fine. <laughs> fuck you. Up uh, next. Other- otherwise, I'll use my shield every single attack. Up next is Devon. Uh, we hate him. All right, cool. So, um, uh, because the spell is no longer telling me what to do, I'm a bit confused as to why I- I'm holding this goblin by the ears. And I look around and I see the crushed body of the rat. And my, my response is kind of, what? So I let go of the goblin and walk over to the rat's corpse to examine it. I love it. And that's where he sees the imprint of his own ring. Yeah. No, 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 I see the blood on my hands and the blood on the rat and I'm just kind of fucking devastated. Okay, Dayden, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to continue what I was doing and try and shank this thing. Okay, make a strength check. Or are you attacking oh, it, sorry? I'm going to attack it. Okay, go and attack it with your rapier. Uh, so that is 17. Yeah, that hits. Yes. Uh, so this one, D8. Oh, I got eight. There we go. Cool. Yeah, he's still looking good. Uh, up next is Sif. I'm going to use a new spell called Mind Spike. Okay. Um, so on a failed saving throw, he takes half, but on a success, no, other way around. Wait. On a successful, he takes half. On a failed, yeah, he takes half. Yeah. Three. Okay. What's the DC? 16. And what modifier? Uh, plus eight. No, no it's, it's um, charisma. Oh, yeah. Plus five. Okay, and I've got to beat a 16. Wh- is it? Yeah. Wisdom or charisma? Yeah, the thing is though, charisma. right next to the spell it says plus eight and that's why I keep getting confused. Yeah. Um, sorry, say again? It's charisma. Okay, uh, charisma's minus two, so he rolled a 13. Okay, so three D8 damage, psychic damage. Mm-hmm. Which I got. Got three D8s here if you want. 15. 15 total? Yeah. Cool. Still looks good. Uh, Hawk. Takes another swig. 
Liver damage increases. Oh, he's getting wobbly. Mm. Cool. Uh, actually, I tell you what. Hawk stumbles back into the room. Can I help with anything? Yes. Uh, yeah, do you yeah, have a health actually. potion? Do you have a health potion? Uh, he searches his pockets and pulls out a health potion. Chuck it to me. He hands you the health potion. Oh, no, he's going to give it rat's body. <laughs> you can do that next turn. Uh, Hawk has done his action for the turn, and he is going back to the other room. It is wow. now. It is now Droop's turn again, and Daden has or Devon has moved away, so he is going to focus his attack on Daden again. Okay, first multi attack is five plus five ten. Mm. Miss. Second one is eleven plus five sixteen. Oh, that hits. Okay, and this one is going to be his bloody lust. So he is going to bite you for a d6. Uh, Five plus three, eight. Add three d6. Four, five, nine. Add six, eleven. Ow! Uh, Ow! I'm still alive, but oh! How are you still hanging in there? I have six health left. Good net for for a week. Which health did you have? How much health do I have? How much? Yeah, how much health did you have? You had thirteen, didn't you? No, I gave him thirteen back. Yeah. Yeah. So what was you on so, before so it, that? It took me back up to seventeen. Oh, okay. And he yeah. missed his last two attacks, so I didn't okay. take any damage. And now I've taken it, it was down to six, so I have six left. Well, no, no, it wasn't 11 overall. 11 was the total of the 3d6. I think it was, was it nine before that 11, Jake? Yeah. So that's 20 total. Well, then I'm fucked. <laughs> okay. Dayden, you are going to have to make a death saving throw on your turn. As your body goes limp, as a group takes a bite out of your face. He comes away with a chunk of your cheek. Good news, though, he's not going to keep attacking you. Uh, up next is Coop. I can't spare the dime. Coop, what do you do for that? This happens. Yep, he's now stable. Okay, you don't have to make death saving throws, and you can be healed. Help, though? Uh, you're You've stable, got- so you're still on zero. Oh, but great. you can be given health by someone else now. Beforehand, they wouldn't have been able to heal you. Okay. Uh, up next is Zibby. Your turn. Hmm? Your turn. Oh, I'm going to try and reduce him. Uh, okay. Uh, it is a charisma saving throw, 15. Oh, he got 18. Oh. Oh. Minus That's two, it. sixteen. Oh. Oh. So close. Okay, uh, Devon, your turn. You help potioning your rat. Potion on the rat. You cool. stupid prat. I need his rat. It's pronounced rat. Okay, uh, yeah, you heal the rat back for its one hit point. Yes, I hold what? it. I just look. How? No, hold on a minute. It was dead. Guess you can't didn't. cure dead people. I was making we saving were... foes for it. Oh. oh. For God's sake. How do, you, hey. how do you repair its skull and everything? I'm missing a chunk of my te- my cheek for this thing. Uh, it's called magic. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Devin, you spent your turn hitting that. Dayden, you are on the floor. You are unconscious. Uh, you don't have to make a saving throw, which is lucky, thanks to uh, Coop or Valis. So we're going to move now to Sif. Sif, what would you like to do? Cure wounds on Dayden. Okay. How much are you healing him for? Uh, what was? Is it the same as last time? Yeah, it's D8 plus five. Yeah. Okay. Was that? Was you? Did you heal him at second level or first level last time? Or was it always a D8? First level. Okay. Yeah. I, so I can add extra ones. Right. So plus five. You got three plus five. Eight. Go. Boy, you came oh. back to life right in front of him, hey? Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> he let oh, you go. Hey, How did you start breathing again? 
<laughs> Which prick to send that on my cheek? Okay. Uh, I want that back. Hawk stumbles back into the room. Can I do anything for you guys? Could, could you help us with the, the goblin person, please? Please. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Hawk draws his sword and he walks up to the walks up to Droop and he is going to attack Droop with his multi-attack with his scimitar uh, first one he does 11 plus 5 which hits he is going to do a d6 of damage that's five plus three eight, and as a reaction, the goblin is going to attack him back. But I'll do that afterwards. Second attack was a seven plus five, which misses. Uh, he gets attacked back by the goblin, who is going to do a bite attack on him. Uh, he rolled a three plus seven, which misses. So he misses that attack. It is now the goblin's turn. It is Droop's turn. So he is going to latch on to Hawk. And he is going to attack him twice with his multi-attack. First attack misses. Second attack. Oh, hits with a nat 20. Oh. Oh. And he will use his bloodlust on this attack as well. So he gets a double bite attack or a double damage Bye. bite attack. Oh, that's not good. That was four and two, which is six. Add three, which is nine. Add three d six, which was five, and another five, so ten, which means he got bit for sixteen damage in total. And I've got to keep track of a second fucking NPC's stat block. Brilliant, thanks, Joe. <laughs> Twat. Cool. Uh, next up is Coop. You muted. Thank you. Yep. Uh, his uh, turn. Um, <laughs> I'm going to shoot it with a crossbow. Okay. So there we go. So it is 19 plus 5. Oh yeah, you hit. And that's 1d8. That's that's the eight, isn't it? Mm, yes. And that is only five plus two. I thought seven. Cool. He's starting to look injured. Uh, up next is Zibby. Okay. Um, I am going to once again try and reduce. Okay. So DC charisma save of. Hang on. Bloody hell. Uh, there it is. 15. Uh, he fails. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, target creature, everything it's wearing and carrying to his sides with it. Do, 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 do. The target size is half halved in all dimensions and its weight is reduced to one eighth of normal. This reduction decreases its size by one category from medium to small, for example. Until the spell ends, the target also has disadvantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. The target's weapons also shrink to match its new size. Whilst these weapons are reduced, the target's, target's attacks with them deal 1d4 less damage. Okay. He is now tiny. He is, or he fills up half or two and a half foot of space instead of five foot of space. Okay. Cool. He has been successfully reduced. It is now Devon's turn. Fear that Dwayne too isn't safe around me because I've already killed him and I don't remember doing it. So um, I open the door and release him and then shut the door. Okay. Which door? Was this the one that was to the south or to the east? The one that was kind of top right because I was in that corner. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, you let the rat go. Are you going to do anything else this time? Yeah, I'll uh, pick up the 
goblin thing. Oh, as okay. he is. He is now tiny. You probably can just pick him up in a grip. Great, and I'll throw him at the wall. Uh, okay, I won't make you roll a strength check because I don't think I could beat you if I have disadvantage. Actually, no. Roll a strength check. I want to see if I can beat you with disadvantage. 17 plus 3, 20. You might not beat me. Yeah, no, he did not beat you. Okay, you launch him at the wall. I fucking yeet him at the wall. Okay, a fucking yeet is still only a d6 of damage. Would take more damage because he's tiny. Uh, was there anything to increase damage there, Zibby? Um, I don't think so, actually. Okay, roll for damage, Devon. One! Cool. I uh, eat him at the wall, but I go for I hit the bookshelf and it's really soft. Yeah, you, the, the bookshelf like pads is full. Okay. I would like to say, though, his his weight is one eighth of what it would have been. Yeah, it so... just has disadvantage on all strength checks. I, I will yeah, say, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll no, say it, it was doubled then. To two? Yes. Ambassador, you're spoiling us with this damage. <laughs> hey, if it was more, that's your fault for owning a shit number. Okay, Dayden, your <laughs> turn. Uh, I want to run him through with my rapier. Okay. Because it's payback time. He's very and small. Can I suggest that you maybe stay at a distance, Dayden? Yeah, arm's length stabbing. <laughs> Go uh, for it. Off. Let's see. I can't believe this is almost over. Uh, We've only managed to get into one room. I know! <laughs> oh We've had God. lots of fun in this room. Uh, I got 18. Uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, the so tinderbox was very impressive. It was, yes. <laughs> uh, great so I, thought, I thought that would have been the longest thing of this day. No. I got 13. <laughs> you hit him for 13? Yep. Okay. His reaction is going to be against you. Hey, oh, shit. And his, uh, he has disadvantage on attacks, doesn't he? Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, every attack he does is minus 1d4. Oh, it's, oh minus a d4, shit. And okay. disadvantage on strength. No, it's, okay. it's, minus, yes. no, it's minus 1d4 on the damage, I think you said. Yeah. So disadvantage on strength, and then 1d4 less damage than what he would normally okay. get. Okay. So yeah, but it can't, it can't go below 1 if he... Okay. Uh, he rolled a 20. Natural. And he, disadvantage. Just, there is no disadvantage on the attack, only on the uh, only on the strength and on uh, the damn it. the actual attack. So he is going to do two d sixes of bite damage to you, but I'll oh, be minusing four from whatever the total result is. So that is six and four. The six. No, he, he does. I've got d four. Ten. That's 10 uh, plus He three. does have disadvantage on strength checks. So minus four. It is... wasn't a strength check, it was his okay. attack. So uh, plus three, then minus four, so uh, that's nine. I get to do death saving again. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Son of a bitch. Well, yep. you, you stabbed him and he bit Te- you back and knocked you down again. Technically, I'm on minus one. That was that's fine. As long as it doesn't go over half of your actual health, you don't outright die. Only half. I thought it was full. Uh, is, uh, it, is it full? Oh, right, full. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's, yeah. So okay, we'll if your HP is thirty and you go down to minus thirty, you're proper fucked and no death saves. You're just dead. You're gone from existence. Okay. Well, I'm I'm currently on minus one, so I'm sure. That's I'm fine. fine. I, uh, up next <laughs> is Sif again. Oh. Uh, well, I can't heal Dayden this time. No one so... got any more health potions. Actually, you need to spare the you dying do. now anyway. Yeah. Well, if someone um, has so... a medical ability. They can. Do I have? Do I? Can I heal my? No, I can't. can't I have cure wounds, but I, I'll be focusing on uh, okay, keeping so this what, guy little. What are you up to? <laughs> I'm going to cast an agonizing blast at him. Cool. Sorry, I'm being dumb on my laptop. I rolled a twelve plus five, so seventeen. 17 hits. And then I get to roll. I definitely know this off about 1d10 plus 5. I rolled a 1. <laughs> so plus 6. 5, though, so 6. <laughs> okay. He, he is looking really raggedy, guys. Yeah. Up next is Hawk. Hawk is going to attack him again. Uh, 
We use multi attack. First attack. That's a fucking nat one. And I'll roll a second one. That's a three. Uh, plus five, eight. Doesn't do his armor class. Okay. So Hawk fucked up. He's too drunk. Uh, yeah. What Droop is now going to do is he is going to disengage from Hawk and he is going to run. So. Where, where are we and where is he? So, he, you got, so most of you are over here. Right. Because this is where the main fight took place. Once he was thrown over here, Dayden is here. Hawk is here. Uh, he's going to run for this door. Do we get to attack as he runs? He's not going to go past you. Only Hawk would, but he's disengaging from the fight with Hawk to run. Right. Uh, seeing right. as how he's now a size smaller, is his move distance uh, decreased as a result? Uh, he has 50 feet of movement speed. Yeah, but so wouldn't that be like half five, or something? Yeah, 25. 25. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He is at the door. So we've got a clear line of sight to him. Actually, you know what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He can get under the table. And he will take that advantage. So he will go from 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He is out the door. He is out the door. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we should probably go after him, right? <laughs> Finish him off before he uh, comes back. Who's uh, up next? You can do. Coop, it is your turn. Uh, I cast Spare the Dying again on Dayden. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My dying inconvenient to you. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> if you want to run off and chase the thing, I'll just lie here. It's fine. Cool. Up next is Zibby. Um, I'll probably follow him out the door while still concentrating on the spell. Okay. I don't even want to bother him to do that. We're not going to get to that point. Uh, right, so <laughs> as you go out, as you run out of the door, roll me an investigation check to find him. That is a 15 plus whatever my investigation is. Plus one, 16. Oh yeah, no, you see him. You see him on the stairs in front of you. Make your attack. Oh, I can attack as well? Yep. Alright, fuck it. I'm, I'm just going to go all out with my new spell. Lightning Bolt. Good spell. What does it What do? Ah, what do? Okay, so, a stroke of lightning forming a line 100 feet long and five feet wide blasts out from you in a direction you choose. Each creature in the line must take a dexterity saving throw of 15. Uh, a creature takes 1d6, uh, no, 8d6 lightning damage oh. on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. The lightning ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. At higher, well, yeah, the rest is higher level shit. He rolled a 16 plus 117. Well then, I'll still do my 8d6. Cool. Total of 27, so 13. Yeah, this lightning bolt rips through him. And, uh, like, it connects with the wall behind him. Like, it penetrates straight through his little body. And you can see, like, his limbs uh, begin to burn and sizzle, and his skeleton becomes visible through his skin like a wacky cartoon as he begins to uh, grow back to his full size again upon death. And uh, he collapses on the floor in a charred heap, his eyes smoking and blackened, and a very strong smell of burnt hair in the, uh, in the corridor. Ah, oh, man. Well. 
may as well may as well rummage through his pockets right <laughs> it's only fair <laughs> i mean he has nothing on him he was a slave yeah all right well i come back walk back into the room like well he, he dead cool actually i'll tell you i'll tell a lie you rummage through his pockets yeah yeah you find an amulet okay it's rough, roughly made of onyx. It has inscriptions on it, but you don't know what they say. Does he know what language it's written in? Do you speak goblin? Yes. Then yes, you do. What does it say? We've run out of time this session. Oh, uh, still got thirteen minutes. Uh, we've still got still got time. I feel like we should go to sleep because <laughs> today's been a waste. <laughs> I need some health back. <laughs> I mean, you guys can't go to sleep. It's only literally been like an hour. You can, because you I can't. Can't. All the time in, in the real world. This is a real world. This could is we, magic world. Could we you just have get like up for a bit and then go back to sleep? <laughs> could we have like a really long breakfast? What about second breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> Eleven is afternoon <laughs> tea. You could explore this room and uh Yeah, let's, let's see if you could see if you could find that... something to help you. Right, so uh, whilst, whilst they explore the room, I want to stealthily uh, exit via the door to go and see where um Devon two uh, Dwayne Two's ended up. Well we're all going to that room. And I thought you were all gonna check the room we were in that's got all the bookshelves and the interesting shit everywhere. Nah, uh, we're checking that I'm checking that room. To the right. I would quite like to crawl out of said room to try and find the missing part of my cheek. <laughs> it's probably still in his gob, and also to take his necklace because it looked pretty cool. Oh, no. Is, How many people are damaged? Oh, Zibby's got it. Oh, fair enough. Never mind. Yeah. How many people are damaged? Mm, I took seven. I almost died. Minus one. <laughs> is it just you two, is it? And Hawk. I took like two life's worth of damage. Hawk. Um... Tell you what. Pop, pop, oh, pop, pulls out um, a very large looking health potion and drinks from it and is fully healed. Fine. I chuck my my last special potion towards Dayden. I, I, I tell you not to. I, Considering he's I on use... minus one. No, he's on one. He's, on, he's, he's stable now. He's on zero. But you spell oh, the dying on him. Then he's, he's still okay. unconscious. You can't chuck I'll, stuff to him. Fine, I'll, I'll pour down I'll my full on my head. Hang on, hang on. I've got cure wounds. Yeah, this will be better than that. Okay, yeah, but... I pour down his throat a 4d4 plus 4 healing potion, my last special one. How much does that give back? 4d4 plus 4. So roll 4 d fours. Fourteen. Plus four. Eighteen. I wake up and the first thing I proclaim is I've just had the most interesting dream, guys. I dreamt I got attacked by a goblin. Why does my cheek hurt so much? Your cheek has uh, is scarred, but it has healed over and grown oh, back somewhat. There is no longer a big chunk missing. There is like a, a shallow dip, though. While mm. the healing is going on, Devin, you are able to sneak away to the other room on your own to find your rat. As you open the door, it is sitting on its hind legs, looking up at you, uh, with its front paws holding one another, and it's looking straight up at you as you come into the room. Get in my pocket and be quiet. It scampers up your leg and into your pocket. Shh. In the meantime, I want to ask it Captain squeaks Hawk and nods. something. Uh, Captain Hawk like rubs his head and like uh, nurses like the bite mark on his arm. Yeah, what can I help you with? The fuck, dude. What? I'm not in charge of the bugbears and what they keep as pets. I thought he was a shitty fucking goblin. It's not my fault he was yeah. some sort of feral fucker. You think I would have allowed? We thought he that? was a meek little thing as well. So did Christ. I. Do you think I walked, would have walked up to him and fucking attacked him if I knew he'd be able to attack me back? 
He was no. more work than the bugbears. No, oh, I fucking know. I don't know why he didn't attack them. He must have been terrified. Then again, you lot strangling him and slamming him into the floor and whatnot probably pushed him over the edge. If we did, oh. not the bugbear rape. I mean, I don't know what they did to him. The door was always closed and he was squeaking. <laughs> Oh, it just sounds really dodgy. It was dodgy. And yet you did nothing. I was. I said, if you need my help, let me know. No, I came I mean back beforehand. here. What? When he what, was help him? Bugbears. Yeah, play things. Why would I fight three bugbears who were on the same side as me? Because they were being horrendous to a goblin. And if I, they didn't have the goblin, what would they have done? They would have attacked my boys. But why didn't you just kill the bugbears? Because they were on my side. I was told they were on our team. We needed them, according mm. to Mr. Glassstaff, who, I'll have you know, I was taking orders from at the time. Sounds fishy to me. Well, I'm sorry. So your friends here, one of them, uh, for some reason, decides to finger molest a poor goblin, and you turn a blind eye. <laughs> The three Who think it mastered a goblin? Come on, who was it? It was the it was the Goliath. We saw him do it in the other room. Where is the Goliath? <laughs> the Where's Devon? Where's Devon gone? Can I loot I, this room I, I, before I, I, we I, get off track? The I only just, different uh, thing is I didn't know what was happening. You lot did, and you still allowed it to happen. <laughs> I refuse I've... to be <laughs> I refuse to be seen as a monster. And he storms back into the other room to begin pouring a drink. So whilst this is going on, I want to flip the bed over in the next room to make it look like I'm trying to find the rat. Okay. Um, just quickly, the walls of this bedchamber are covered with drapes of scarlet cloth. Furnishings include a small writing desk with matching chair and a comfortable looking bed and a wooden chest at the foot of the bed. Uh, you flip the bed over and there is nothing under there but a few small spiders and some cobwebs. Um, I, I also knock over the, the table and the ch ch like I'm trying to look, look, pretending I'm looking for the rat. Okay, you kick the shit out of the room. Yeah, I look inside the chest whilst without checking for traps because I didn't think ahead. Okay, uh, let's quick before you open the chest, let's go back to the other room and see what they're doing. Could I loot? Yes. Uh, can, can I read that inscription? Oh, yes. No, we've run out of time. <laughs> it'll take you a while to understand what it says. Okay. Shut up, I'm making this up as I go along now. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, so we not couldn't proof, tell. but I, <laughs> I need to write some things down. Yeah. I open the Shut door up. to the other room to see Devon pretending. I don't know okay. pretending. Valis, you're going into the other room. Sif, please roll. Uh, where, where are you searching first? The table or the bookshelves? Bookshelves. Okay. <clears throat> So you gather from the books that someone is trying, this is like beginner level potion brewing and alchemy sort of Ooh. stuff. It gets a bit more advanced, but this person clearly was not um, a master at what they were doing. Can I take the books? Uh, yep, you can, you can take the books. Uh, if you roll me at an arcana check, please. Yes. A 13, do, cool. do I have the modifier to that? Uh, a 13 will suffice. As you, as you look around, you look towards the table as well, and you can see that Iano, or Glassstaff, sorry, uh, appears to be brewing potions of invisibility. Uh, although there are no uh, ingredients left in the vials to make another one now, you can tell that that's what he was trying to do from the notes written down. Okay. Uh, among well, the, he obviously fucking succeeded. Among the books, there is a tome written in Dwarvish, the journal of an adventurer named Ermon, which describes the histories of the lost mine of Fandelva, roll credits, and the Forge of Spells. Ooh. Can I take the Forge of Spells and the Dwarvish one? Dwarvish tome. Hold on, I have some information to share, apparently. There's something, I've forgotten what it was called now. There's something of spells. Okay. Uh, it's the, the Forge of Spells. Forge. Okay, how many, how, how much am I sharing with you from this? I think I'm sharing with you the first and second paragraph of... Who the fuck is singing in my ears? 
a dwarf. Uh, first and second paragraph from the background section. Okay, as you look into the the books, you read that more than five hundred years ago, clans of dwarves and gnomes made an agreement known as the Fandelver's Pact, by which they would share a rich mine of in a wondrous cavern known as Wave Echo Cave. In addition to its mineral wealth, the mine contained great magical power. Human spellcasters allied themselves with the dwarves and gnomes to channel and bind the en- that energy into a great forge called the Forge of Spells, where magic items could be crafted. Times were good, and the nearby human town of Fandlin prospered as well. But then disaster struck when the orcs swept through the north and laid waste all in their path. A powerful force of orcs reinforced by an evil mercenary evil mercenary wizards attacked Wave Echo Cave to seize its riches and magic treasures. Human wizards fought alongside their dwarf and gnome allies to defend the forge of spells, and the ensuing spell battle destroyed much of the cavern. Few survived the cave-ins and tremors, and the, loca- the location of Wave Echo Cave was lost. That's what you read from that book. Okay. I could have shared that with you at the beginning, but it says to share it now. Cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, do, do, do. I'm not role playing as Droop. That's been done. Uh, the Ermine records, uh, the Ermine records a magic mace named Lightbringer that was commissioned by priests of Lathander, or Lythander, the god of dawn, from the mages working with the gnomes and the dwarves in the Fandelver's Pact. The maze was lost when, in when Wave Echo came, and its mind vanished from history. So you now know of a magic mace somewhere in Wave Echo Cave, possibly. Okay, uh, you also find for treasure um, some materials used for magic. They have no value, but three small bottles hold rare ingredients. Mercury, Dragon Bile, and Powdered Nightshade. They're worth 25 gold uh, gold each to an apothecary or an alchemist. Powdered Nightshade, Mercury, and... Dragon Bile. I just turned to Zibby and go, Hey, did you drop this? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that, that, was, no. that was a bit... Uh, I was feeling a bit rough earlier. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cutting over to Devon. Uh, you... Are looking through the treasure chest at the foot of Yana's bed. At the foot of the bed is a sturdy, unlocked wooden chest. Holding the best pickings of the Red Brand's loot over the last two months. Someone get a pen and paper ready. Oh, I'm God, about to rattle it? off some fucking numbers. I turned Who's, it off. Ready. What, no? 100, 180 God. silver pieces. 130 yeah. gold pieces. A silk pouch containing five carnelians at C A R N E L I A N S. They are worth 10 gold each. Two perdos, that's P E R I D O T S. They're worth 15 gold each. A pearl worth 100 gold. It also contains two scrolls that Iano brought with him from Neverwinter. Okay. What, what was the uh, pedos again? Uh, they were 15 gold each. And how many of them were there? Two. Okay. P-E-R-I-D-O-T-S. I'm not sure how you pronounce the word. It sounds French. So that's 180 silver, 130 gold, silk pouch with five carnelians, 10 G each, two perdos, 15 G each, 100, uh, a pal worth 100 gold, two scrolls. Yep. Two scrolls. The, scrolls. the scrolls are charm person and fireball. We've got two lots of fireball right now. Yep, yep, yep. 
Can anyone use a scroll? Yeah. Uh, a magic user, <clears throat> preferably. I mean, anyone can use it. Because the magic's in the scroll, not in you. Mm-hmm. It is, yeah. I thought it was still based on an individual's levels and things. No, nah, it, it's um, all spell scrolls are level one. Okay. Okay. Unless dictated otherwise, but these are level one spells. So I was going to say, maybe we should um, <clears throat> hand over the fireballs to, like, Devon and Dayden. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you want to give Devon <clears throat> the ability to throw fireballs, that's cool. Maybe we hand over the fireballs to Dayden. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm imagining that's something we'll discuss next time. So, uh, Valis. Out of you all that have... stuff in the chest, I take the pearl because it looks nice. Mm. Fair enough. Put it cool. in the pocket. Uh, Valis, you enter the, the room. Pearl glow green. Wait, you which went... pocket? Valis, you enter the room looking for Devon. Yes. Okay. What goes on? This is, I, uh, I try to talk to him, trying to persuade him to understand why we wanted to get rid of the mouse. Obviously not knowing that he has the mouse right now. This would where role play comes in and you would do it. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> but I just wanted to explain what my intentions were first. And I'm Go going to talk it. to you a bit like a child. Oh, that's fine. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? Not a child. Would you be able to perceive that I was talking to you like a child? He can hear you doing it. <laughs> With his ears. <laughs> yes, but he's not... St- Stay in character, just stay in character, just just roll with it. Okay. It, have you found your mouse, your rat? Sorry. Yes, I found him, but then I continued empty, I kicked going through the room because I wanted to find a second one. Oh, do, do you know why we wanted you to get rid of the rat? No. Uh, he's linked to our enemies, so How? everything he's uh, through. Telekinesis. So uh, he has the ability to be seen through everything the rat sees, our enemy sees, and therefore knows what we're doing and could probably kill us because of it. I know you love this rat. I know he's uh, Dwayne too. But I feel that. How would Dwayne feel about you having this rat? When we find if when we find Dwayne, which we will, we will find him one day. How would he feel that he's, you've replaced him with a rat? I'd like to have a brother. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think I Dwayne is very much. I don't understand magic brilliantly, but like when Zibby makes me really big. Yes. He has to pay attention and um, make sure that he keeps me big. And if he stops doing that, then I go back to being my regular size. If this rat is magically linked to the other guy, wouldn't that yeah. kind of wear off? I, I think to myself, would one, would the rat dying sever the connection? And two, does he still need to maintain concentration to be able to use a telekinesis? Not telekinesis, uh, tele- telepathy. Bolt me an arcana check to see if you can suss out what you want to suss out. That is an 18, and I think my arcana's two, but I've turned my other l- oh, goes back. Uh, bring it up. Dungeon Master's Vault. <laughs> On, log in. So it is 18 plus. I can't, I can't, oh no, 18 plus 1, so 19. Okay, how many Asian spells do you have in your spell list that you are currently using? Say again? How many evocation spells do you currently have that you use? So I have to look through it. It's quickly. Think of evocation. Yeah, quickly look for the spells of the ones that you've got uh, okay, on hand. Um, yeah. Okay, so that is... Uh, new. Where do I see evocation? 
it should be like a, when you open it to see what it does it should yep. say like evocation <coughs> aberration illusion I know I've got at least one invocation evocation whatever um I guess two or three uh, so you, you don't know the actual number of how many you've got? No, because there's a lot to go through. <laughs> I, I will say that you don't you understand magic, but evocation spells aren't your strong suit. Right. So you, given your understanding of magic, you would assume that the spell wears off when he comes back to life. Right. But that's just from assumptions based on other spells you've seen used, not on evocation spells. How, okay. how do so you know if, if something if is an evocation says spell? In italic, so that's an evocation. If someone knew eight evocations, do you think they would know fairly well? They would, but they're not in the room at the moment to decide just the fate of about, the rat. Okay, I was just uh, so I, I say to you, Devon, I, I just feel that it would be safer if we got another rat. Find this one first. You you told me that you found this one and then you carried on wrecking the ring. Well, I was being sarcastic. Roll well, deception. <laughs> For fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I, I found don't... it and I carried on wrecking the room. That, oh, the, you, he's those being are the literal. words you said. <laughs> okay, Devon. I, I was going to said... let you get away with it the first time. <laughs> deception, eh? Right, let's yeah. see what my deception is because I rolled a two. Uh, minus one. <laughs> one. Yeah, he he don't believe you. Valis, you can sort of see the bulge in his in his pocket where you. And the fact that I keep putting my hand in my pocket to stroke the rat and taking it out again. <laughs> yeah. It's just like dangling the rat in front of you. Like I don't have the rat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Carry on. <clears throat> so, how about if I find you another rat? We dispatch of this one to be safe. One, because I don't think Dwayne would be too appreciative of you having replaced him with a meager rat. And I'd rather, two, um, instead of killing it, I'd rather just like let it go in the woods. Um, I'm no good with goodbye, so I'm going to give the rat to you. And can you just release it in the woods when we get outside? I will release it. Thank you. I'll decide what I do next time. <laughs> what what you reminded me of, Nick, like, um, were saying like, oh yeah, just hold, hold the rat in front of you, <laughs> trying to convince you that it's not there. <laughs> reminded me of this thing from Reddit where like this kid stole, stole this uh, teacher's phone and oh, she rang it. She rang it to like find it. And it was, she realized it's with this kid. And instead of denying that it's like her phone or <laughs> he denies or the phone he is ringing, it, he denies the phone is ringing. That's him. That's Kevin. That's Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, I love it. Brilliant. Okay, so um, Valish, you now have the you've been handed the rat, yeah? Yeah. Want me animal handling? Kevin's mum repeatedly mailed me checks for Kevin's tuition. <laughs> we are a public oh, school. It's a public school. And, and I'm his English teacher. Yeah. <laughs> What was your animal handling? This one repeatedly went to the wrong school for parents' evening. Four plus two. Yes. <laughs> yes. The six. Okay, uh, as Devon, as you hand over the rat to Vallis, Vallis unfortunately rolled really low on his animal handling, uh, the rat like squirms out of Vallis's hands and jumps back onto you, like lands on your chest and starts working its way up towards your neck again. All right, I'll, I'll let it. you go when we get outside. It squeaks and starts shivering. Can I go in that room now? Yeah. I go in that room. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, my. I see if... it's Sorry, what? Nothing. You are the biggest fucker in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to go into the uh, okay. room with the ale and I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to be drinking some. I'm as you walk, as you walk in, Captain Hawk deftly throws you an, a mug to fill up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cheers. 
I'm assuming I can see the rat on Devon's shoulder. Yeah, it looks scared. Yeah, this isn't I, a rat. <laughs> I just, I, I do I do see if I can see whether or not it's still got that telepathy on it. I've got eight evocation points. Roll detect magic. Cool. I don't have detect magic. Then you can't see if it still has the spell. Balls. Okay, with this sad and somber moment, we'll be back I'll next time. Do another identify on it. And we're going to end there for the day on the cliffhanger of whether oh. or not. <laughs> I make the rat, rat glow. <laughs> <laughs> Was it not already still glowing? It's lime green now. <laughs> I hope you find Dwayne, and I hope he hates the fact that you've replaced him. He'll love having a new brother. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. I hope he causes you immense pain. (laughs) This is such a sad song. (laughs) (laughs) I can't hear it. Everyone, a moment of silence in Dwayne's memory. (laughs) No, he's not dead. No moment of silence. It's fine. It's just down the well. No, no. This, this is a sad, sad moment for me because I was hoping that Droop would be my little goblin companion, and now he's dead. I like, mean, yeah, and Dayden's half dead. You like yep. finished him off. <laughs> yeah, I had to. I had to put him down. 